Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. So in today's video I'm actually going to be doing my May favourites. So I've actually never done one of these before on my channel. If you are new to my channel or new to YouTube or new to this favourites thing, then basically I just go through all of my monthly favourites from May or whatever month that might be. And also I wanted to do more chatty videos as well. I know I might have mentioned it in my last video and I'm sorry I didn't upload last week but I've just been really busy with work and I just haven't had a chance to edit my video. I know today's video was going to be a makeup tutorial but I haven't finished editing it yet just because I'm not 100% happy with it and I would rather upload quality rather than quantity um but yeah hopefully you're being patient with me i know there's quite a few new subscribers here so welcome to my channel and thank you so much for subscribing and obviously wow uh, and obviously if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for my upcoming videos so i'm just going to get on to the video these are basically my favorite products favorite beauty products that I've been loving in the month of May but to be honest um, when it comes to makeup I'm one of those people who literally if I love something then I will continue to use it for like months um, and plus I can't really afford to go shopping all the time so what I have is what I use basically um but yeah it's just a bit of fun um what should I do I'll start with kind of like skincare stuff and it might give you some ideas on what sort of makeup to go for um because I'm sharing my opinion basically but yeah I hope you enjoy it if you want to see my May favorites then just keep so the watching. first product is this um Aveda is it Aveda or Aveda Aveda I'm not sure but it's basically this foaming cleanser um, I got this a few months ago and to be honest I basically just picked it up because I needed new, new bleh, because I needed sorry about that that's annoying me <laughs> um, because I needed a new cleanser and I've actually been loving it it's made my skin feel really soft it does say it does it dissolves oil and sebum without over drying and it definitely doesn't over dry my skin even though I'd say I'm like normal to oily some skincare products does dry out my skin I don't really like that tight feeling after I cleanse so yeah this is really nice and I like the fact that it foams up because when I use it with my um sonic brush I think is it called sonic brush by Clio Clinique I don't know where mine is I was going to show that in this video because it was one of my favorites but I don't know where it is but that's one of my favorites but yeah I like using that with this because I like it when it foams up it's just fun yeah okay moving on so the next product I have loved for months now I used it recently um, and I forgot how much I love it but basically it is the Manuka Doctor purifying facial peel and I bought this because I sure I sure <laughs> because oh, low battery brilliant I basically um, used it because I saw Shanexo um, using it and her skin looked amazing and I was just kind of like I'm gonna buy it on a whim but it's actually really nice and I like masks that peel off and it actually makes a difference straight away when you peel this off you can see that your skin looks a lot clearer as well and um, so yeah if you I think you can get it off Holland and Barrett but I will link everything down below. Definitely try this, I definitely recommend the Manuka Doctor brand as well. Next thing is actually a hair product and I'm not really into hair products, I don't really style my hair, I just shove it up, straighten it, do whatever to it. But I've been using this Touch of Silver um, shampoo by Provoke I think it is. Yeah, so basically it's a brightening shampoo with like a toning violet pigment so it gets rid of all the brassy tones in blonde hair so I don't know if any of you noticed I know some people at work have noticed that my hair looks more silvery and um, yeah it's just got rid of like the yellowy tones because I kind of want to go down the silvery hair route but I don't want to dye my hair this is all kind of dyed and then up here is natural um, so yeah it's just kind of a nice way of changing up my hair without dyeing it um, yeah I really like it and it definitely makes a difference next I'm moving on to foundation so this one is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer so mine is in the colour 
um, 8 golden neutral if you were wondering and to be honest I'm not going to lie it has been a love hate relationship I have loved it in the month of May but um, I love it when it first goes on it's a really really beautiful foundation but I will say it's not the most long wearing foundation so I have opted to mixing it in with some of my other foundations to sort of prolong the wear or using like a powder or a primer but basically it's just really full coverage but it gives you like like the most smoothest smoothest <laughs> it just makes your skin look so smooth and it gives kind of like a dewy finish as well which I really like in the summer but I'm kind of oily so it is hard for me to wear this on a day where it might be a little bit hot and I'm going to be wearing all day so if you're on the drier side then you'll probably really love this um but yeah for now I'm just going to be mixing it in with, mixing it in with my foundations but it is an all-round good foundation especially for all skin types I would say um yeah I'm kind of babbling I don't really know but yeah go get a sample if you can okay the next thing I'm going to talk about is really random it's actually a well, it's not a brush holder, it's probably like a candle holder. But I use it to store my big brushes. Sorry, they're really dirty, they need a good old clean. But yeah, um, this goes on my desk or my beauty table, whatever you want to call it. And it just holds all my big brushes and I absolutely love it. I'm kind of loving silver on my beauty table at the moment. Um, I just think it looks really nice and sort of fancy. It was pretty expensive, I will say. The white company is so expensive. And when I went in there, they were a little bit, like, snooty, like, just staring at me as I walk around, trying to figure out what I could afford. But yeah, anyways, they do smaller sizes as well, so I think I might pick up some of the smaller pots. Not really a beauty product, but it holds my brushes, and I love it. The next thing I will talk about is, I'm sure you all love it, everyone on YouTube loves this. It is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and... Again, I loved this for ages and then I kind of stopped using it and then I started using it over the past like maybe month or two and I forgot how good it was. Like it literally just smooths out your skin. It makes it look so airbrushed. It literally holds my makeup all day. Um, I'm literally matte for the whole day or I will just use it like in the centre if I know I'm going to get a bit oily. Okay, next... I don't know if this is boring. Next I have a highlighter palette. Mm, this is beautiful. <laughs> so this is the Sleek Makeup, what's it called? Solstice? I can never say that word, Solstice. I think it's called Solstice. <laughs> I don't know. So basically I saw Jaclyn Hill um, using this in a Snapchat and I literally bought it within five minutes of seeing it. But yeah, I've literally used this um, I wouldn't say like every day, but it is definitely a go-to when I go out because the highlighters are like seriously pigmented. I don't know if you can see that there. They're literally like so, so shimmery and intense. Wow. Yeah. So you've got kind of like a champagne-y one, kind of like a lilac-y one, and one with a little bit more of like a golden undertone, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, um, I kind of like using it as like a base first and then using my highlighter or another highlighter over the top, which is, I will show you, which is oh, um, Opal, I think it is, yeah, Opal by Becca, so I really wanted the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop, but I couldn't get my hands on it, so I bought this one and I must say it is incredible and I'm sure like all the other Becca highlighters are as well uh, it's just that one there Woo. but yeah I'm wearing that today I don't know if you can see it but it's super pigmented um, and I really want to get my hands on the other Becca highlighters um but yeah if you're looking for an intense creamy powder highlighter then definitely go check out Becca cosmetics um so i'll finish off with my last skin product or base product and that is the nars um radiant creamy concealer and mine is in custard so this is the second time i've purchased this one 
yeah I literally use this every day and like the name suggests it is so creamy uh, and it dre <laughs> and it blends out like a dream honestly I'm really really impressed it hasn't quite taken over my MAC Pro Longwear because I love that stuff but it's a good all-rounder it's a little bit pricey if you do want something cheaper then try the I think it's L'Oreal no I don't know two seconds okay here it is it's the Maybelline um 24 hour superstay concealer yeah this is amazing for the price so if you want um like a cheaper version then try this next I have um two lip products so the first one is Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Posh Spice so this is like a dream it's the best liquid lipstick I've tried I haven't tried that many to be honest but the consistency is really like thin but then it's still really pigmented and it feels so comfortable on the lip and the color is just amazing it's the color that I wore in my last video which was the TMI tag and yeah I love the applicator because it's really really like soft and sort of like squidgy um, it just goes on like a dream it's literally like so long where I wore this when I ate like a load of chicken wings and it was still on after and they were some greasy chicken wings um, the next lip product is my baby it is Big Baby by MAC um, I'm pretty sure it's a lip glass no it's a plush glass I should know this yeah I'm pretty sure it is I'll link it down below I'll link it down below but this is literally like the best lip gloss you will ever use because it is so so glossy you can wear it over literally any lip colour it's a great kind of like nudie lip if you just want to chuck it on and have a little bit of a tint and a really nice glossy finish um yeah this is probably like mm, my third one <laughs> maybe fourth so the next thing is actually a pair of lashes which has lash glue on so these ones are the lily lashes by lily galici i think that's how you pronounce it these ones are in the style beverly hills and they're literally the most like i don't know if you can see them because i've already worn them um if you do want to see them on i wore them in my last video which is the tmi tag and they're literally like the prettiest fluffy like wispy looking lashes ever like i love lashes that look really wispy on the end um, I will say they're quite, um, like, they have quite a thick band, so if you've got quite small eyes, just make sure you really trim them to the size of your eye, because otherwise it's quite painful when it, like, pokes you in the eye. But yeah, they look really nice on, um, I can't remember where I got them, because I know it's quite hard to get them shipped over here, or it's quite pricey, um, but I'll link them down below if you live in the UK and you want to get your hands on them, because yeah they do so many different styles and i'm really impressed and then last but not least is i actually got my purple shampoo on it oh, icky uh open yes last but not least is the morphe 35t palette like just look at it how amazing is it but yeah i've literally been loving like movie colors over the past few months and they're really amazing for prom as well, um, or any of the Morphe palettes. Um, they are just so pigmented and so amazing for the price. So if you're looking for a good, cheap, well, you know, not like really cheap, but good quality um, eyeshadows, then definitely check Morphe out because they do so many different colours as well. Um, but yeah, that's just one of my favourites that I've been loving over the past month. Sorry that the lighting has changed. My battery just died. But yeah, anyways, it's the end of the video, so I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what your favourites are down below, and also if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Eh, sorry, my mouth. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. Um, I'd be happy for you to join the team, if you want to call it a team. But uh, yeah, anyways, I'm going to go because I'm getting delirious. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the more chatty videos. I will have a makeup tutorial coming next. I've got loads of ideas for makeup tutorials and like how-tos. I've got a how-to eyeliner as well. So please stay tuned for that. I just want to do so much on this channel and 
and just trying to be patient with it because I don't want to rush any of my videos because like I said earlier I want them to be as kind of the best quality that I can make it if that makes sense um but yeah please bear with me because I basically work full time and it's really hard for me to film edit because it takes so long but I do really really want to um, upload more so yeah please stay tuned for upcoming videos so make sure you do subscribe thank you so much to everyone who has been subscribing to me who's been sharing liking commenting on my videos I do appreciate it so so much um yeah it's kind of slowly but surely growing my channel um and yeah it's kind of crazy to be honest um don't really know Kind of losing my train of thought anyways i'm totally rambling um thank you again for watching um don't forget to like and comment down below and obviously subscribe for the third time but yeah you'll see me in what was that but yeah you'll see me in my next one bye